This is going to give great flavor to the dish, plus leeks, I think, are just a nice mild member of the onion family. Yeah, they're wonderful. All right, so we have our leeks ready to go. And then with this, we want some parsley. So Jasper, I'm going to have you I'll chop, that chop you. up some, Here's some flat leaf. Italian parsley. We want to use flat leaf for this, not curly. I'm not a big fan of curly parsley, are you? Uh, I like it for potatoes, I think. It has a different mm -hmm. flavor. Okay, but, well this is... But the like, flat leaf parsley This is, is Italian parsley, so right. we really want to mince that up. We've got some hot red pepper paste right here. And it's delicious, and I can vouch for how hot <laughs> it is. Because he had a mouthful. <laughs> but you can find this in a tube in a grocery store. If you wanted to make your own, which this is homemade, you can take hot red peppers out of the garden, mm -hmm. and then you just whirl them up in your food processor with some oil and a little bit of salt, and you've created a paste. And this is going to give a little bit of heat to this dish. So we're going to add that a little bit later. And then we want some garlic. So why don't you chop up some garlic and sure. just keep it separate. I think a neat trick, Jasper, for garlic is to use a microplane zester. Mm -hmm. Instead of chopping, if you just go over the zester, yeah. something where you really want a fine mince. Yeah, it's, you it's, see, you get a really fine mince. I like that. And, and then you can just put that in towards the it's end. It's great for using for ginger as right. well. Right. You yeah. can use this tool for lots of things, for zesting, for chocolate, for cheese. But I also like it for this, for garlic. So if you want to get a really fine mince, invest in one of these. A little olive oil. And we want to start making our sauce. I'd say about two, three tablespoons of olive oil. So first thing we want to put in are the leeks. So the leeks go in. Let's get them all going. Get those leeks in. And I don't want to put the garlic in yet because okay. I've minced it up so fine that I want it to be, uh, I don't want it to burn. So we get the leeks okay. in. And while they're in, why don't we uh, start chucking some of these clams? All right. So, look at how beautiful these are. My God, they're beautiful. They they're are. really beautiful. So you take them out of the shell. Do you, do, do you ever do anything with the shells? Yeah, you can uh, <laughs> use them as decorations around your house. Yeah, <laughs> in the driveway. At, they make great ashtrays. Yeah. So a little oregano goes in there, dried, so t because the Neapolitans love using oregano dried, not mm -hmm. too much. And then we can add the parsley. So I'm going to take the parsley, put it in there. Parsley goes in. And with this, a little bit of that hot red pepper. I like it kind of on the spicy side, so I'm going to give it Okay, a I like it spicy, too. All right, too. I'm going to give it a good teaspoon. That's going to really add some heat right there. And we stir all this around in our pan. When you see that those leeks are somewhat wilted, and you can see that's happening now, that's when we can add our garlic. So I'm going to add the garlic now that minced garlic that we had. Clams go in last, so we don't want to put those in until the very end. And now I can give this a little white wine. Why don't you hand me that bottle of wine? Want to throw some in? Throw some in. Tell me when. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay, stop. Little white wine goes in. Do you want me to? Mm, that is smelling good. Okay, and then the only other thing we need is some lemon. Do you want me to lemon. put the spaghetti? Oh, yes. Our pot of water is going. We want to cook a pound of spaghetti for this. So you want at least four to six quarts of boiling water. So I think we're ready to put the pasta in. If you want to do that, I will get the lemon ready. So we take that. We add that right there. And we're going to let that cook down some. So we're going to let this cook down. I added the wine. One other thing. We want to add some of this clam juice. So we're going to take that. This is flavor. And if you have no access to this, you can always buy clam juice in a can, right? In a jar. So a little bit of the clam juice goes in. Not too much, because I don't want this to be too soupy. So we're going to let this cook down now. All right, Jasper, you see how this sauce has just reduced down? Can oh, I give yeah. it a little whip? It smells, it smells unbelievable. Good. You can smell yeah. the wine. All right, now yeah. this is ready for the clams. Clams go in at the end. So we have the diced clams. Okay. So let's put those all in. So you put them in at the end because you don't want them to be rubbery. Right. So in they go. 
Wow, that's good. And nothing stuck to the pan. No, it's beautiful. Because we used enough water. So I'm gonna let you give that the old restaurant toss because you're good at that. Woo! I wish I had that strength in my hands. That looks good. Spaghetti alle vongole with all of these beautiful clams. I wanna make sure yeah. they're evenly distributed. We add a few of our clams in the shell, those beautiful clams that were just dug yesterday. And we give this just a little drizzle of olive oil. Yum. And that is ready to eat.